everyone, Sabrina here from Scrappy Tales Crafts. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be creating six mini pop-up vases using some new and old Scrappy Tales products. I'll be using the garden animals, the potted flowers, and the garden flowers. I'll also use the pop-up vase and the Spring Essentials die set, and then I'm going to use a sentiment from that Mama Bird stamp set that I showed at the very beginning of the pile. And then I guess I use one more set here. Yes, I will use the grass from this Garden Stand Flowers die set. For all of my cards today, I chose to use heavyweight cardstock. Um, so here I'm showing you all the colors. These are all by Spellwinders. For Christmas, I splurged and bought a bunch of heavyweight cardstock. So I'm finally using them because with these vases and these dainty flowers, I want them to stand upright and not lean forward. So I did do my die cutting off camera like I normally do. Here you can see I die cut some scallop circles and all at once I'm stamping the thanks for all you do stamp sentiment from the mama bird stamp and I'm just gonna start assembly line style building these vases. So they're all going to have the same layout I just swapped the images. So all six vases are going to use the same pattern paper, which you can see I am taping up right now with my ATG gun. And I have been using these specific dies a lot lately in my videos, so I'm not going to show you me paper piecing the flowers again because I've done that like, I think, three times. So if you want to see the paper piecing, I will link to another video. I mainly want to show you how I built these mini bases because they're really quick and easy and they're super fun to mass produce. So I am using the same pattern paper for all six vases. You can see I went ahead and taped all of them up at once and now I will just attach them to the pop-up vase. Now usually with this die set you're going to cut two bases and connect them to create a larger vase but I'm going to be creating mini vases, so I'm only going to use one base for each card. So these little mini vases will fit in an A7 envelope or a mini slimline. So I kept mine to be about six and a half inches tall, and then when these are folded flat, they're three inches wide. So they'll fit perfectly in a mini slimline envelope or, of course, an A7 and with the A7, you can go a little bit taller. You can do seven inches. And then if you want them to be an A2 sized vase, you would have to trim down the base here, maybe down an inch or three quarters of an inch. So here you can see I added double-sided tape to each tab on the bases. I'm going to remove this, the backing on the double-sided tape and just attach each end together, creating this little square vase. And there, that's pretty much it. It's very simple. And from the pop-up vase die set, I cut six of the bridges. Now these are sized to fit inside the octagon vase. So what I did was I just cut the center about half an inch to the right of that middle score line to create the perfect bridge for this sized vase. So I kept one half inch tab at the end and then I went up to the middle uh, score line and then shifted my scissors about half an inch over to the right and then basically created my other half inch tab that way. Then I'm going to add my double-sided tape to each of the tabs. Again, I'm doing this all at once. I love mass producing. It's very relaxing. I like the methodical uh, repetition. So I really enjoyed making these little vases and I'm going to be giving them to my design team. So that's why I am making them all thank you cards. So here I'm going to insert my bridges inside the vase and all I do is attach one tab to one side of the vase and then the other tab goes on the exact opposite wall. And then I just pinch the vase close 
just to make sure that the tabs are nice and adhered to both sides. And I'm trying my best to center these right in the middle. And that's, that's it. That's the base of the base. So now we are going to work on the decorative elements. So I have yet to use these cute little rain boots from the Garden Flowers die set. So I am going to show you me paper piecing that because I haven't showed it yet. I cut the polka dot boots from yellow cardstock and then the detailed pieces from light pink. So that's what I'm gluing now. And then the shadow layer I die cut from white cardstock so you see little white polka dots peeking through. Then I have the terracotta pot. I'm going to add this little bow to the side of it that's also included in the potted flowers die set. I'm also going to add one to this bowl shaped pot. And then I also have the tea kettle, the watering can, and the tin can. So the both sets include three vessels. Um, so that's why I ended up with six cards. I wanted to use each vessel. And then from the garden animals die set, there are six animals. So each one is going to have a different vessel and flower and a different animal. But they're all going to be the same layout. So here you can see I have my flowers already paper pieced. I've shown that in previous videos. I have all of my sentiments cut out. I have my grasses with the flowers uh, glued on top of the grass. I have some butterflies. So everything is prepped and ready to assemble. I'm gonna go ahead and glue down all of my circle sentiments onto my bases. And I'm making sure that I'm gluing these circles in front of that bridge, not on the side. So you can see I'm twisting some of these to make sure that that's facing forward. And then I'm going to glue my flower bunches into my various pots and vessels here. So I cut each flower once and the flowers come separate from the stem and leaf. So you can cut those out from a different color and it makes it easier to paper piece. So I went ahead and die cut and paper pieced each one from each set, totaling six different flower pots. And this was exactly what I was imagining when I was drawing these two sets is I wanted to make a card with each flower inside each vessel. So I just love how these turned out. I love the bright colors. My YouTube channel thumbnails are really pretty because of all the colors I've been using lately. And I think that these potted and garden flowers are my favorite from the latest collection. I've just been using them over and over again because they're quick and they're just really pretty and dainty. So now I'm going to cut down the grass that I cut from the Garden Stand Flowers die set. I thought some grass in the front would be nice to kind of ground my animals. So I'm trimming them down to fit the front of the vase. So you end up getting three pieces of grass from one die cut. And you can see that I have fences over to the right. I thought I was going to use fences too, but the grass they end up using in the back is too tall and it ends up covering the fence. So I opted not to use them for these cards today. And you can see I'm gluing the grass behind the base of the card. So I'm not gluing them on the bridge. My flower vessel is going to go in that center bridge. So again, doing this all at once to save some time. And then I'm going to start building these one at a time because some of the animals need to be moved to the left. Some of the pots need to be on the right. So at this point, I'm doing them one at a time. So basically the animal goes behind the grass, the flower goes in the center, and then the tall grass goes on the back wall of the vase. I'm also going to add two butterflies. One butterfly is going to go with the grass in the back and then one is going to go next to my sentiment. And that's pretty much it for all of my cards. Now there were some little accessories that come with the garden animals. So for the cats there's a butterfly, for the dog there's a bone, and for the bunnies there's a carrot. So I am going to add those with each coordinating animal. And you'll see when I start assembling this one, that's when I realize, oh, I need to add those little tiny die cuts to these. 
So you can see here that the layout is basically the same. I'm just switching out the flowers and the animal. If you're wondering, that tall grass is from the Springtime Essentials die set from last year. I love that tall grass. And I opted to add the flowers. You don't have to. Um, I really just like that height that it adds to the back of each card. So I am trying to distribute my colors so that each vase has a bunch of colors on it. So if I'm going with this red flower, I'm going to go with, you know, a purple butterfly or a yellow grass. So I'm trying to make sure that each one has multiple colors. And these did not take long at all. Um, obviously the die cutting takes some time, but I think I did these in about half a day. All right, so here's where I realized I want to add those cute little accessories. So with the corgi, I added the bone, and with the kitty, I added the tiny butterfly next to the pink flowers. And then I have this beagle looking dog, and he pretty much takes up that entire front grass area so I did not add a bone to this one. Alright, then we have the cute little bunnies and I decided to pair the tall standing bunny with the tall pair of rain boots because this is the tallest image I made. And I did go in with a fine liner on all of the animals faces just to help them stand out. And I think these would be great little Easter cards if you go with just the bunnies. Even the ca the cats and dogs have a Easter vibe to them too, though. So instead of the thank you sentiment, you could definitely go with Easter or spring sentiments here. All right, and then I think I have one more with the sitting bunny. And I mentioned at the beginning of this video that I am using heavyweight cardstock for all of these die cuts. I normally don't do that. I like to save my heavyweight card uh, cardstock for card bases usually, but when I'm making pop-up cards, it is nice to have heavier weight die cuts just so that nothing leans forward or backwards, especially with this grass here. It is so dainty and the die cut is so thin in areas that having it be heavyweight is just adds more stability to the card, which I really like. So you can see on a couple of these, I am using acrylic sticks to pop up the butterflies. Some of them I'm gluing directly on the grass. It kind of just depends on the layout that I went with. So in this instance, I used an acrylic stick behind one of the butterflies. And I love that little kitty that's pawing at the flowers. That's really cute. I'm gonna add that little small butterfly. So. The cat kind of looks like it's pawing at the butterfly now. And I think that's, no, here's that little sitting bunny. I love this pot with the lavender. I think this one's my favorite. I do like the rain boots a lot too though. And I was itching to cut those rain boots from yellow cardstock. I love how they turned out. So this one I'm also going to add an acrylic stick behind this butterfly. And that will complete my little project today. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't yet already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm trying to post more consistently. Um, I will have another video soon showcasing another pop-up shop. So I hope you enjoyed today's short little video. This is shorter for, you know, what I usually do. <laughs> so thanks for sticking around. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I will have a full list of supplies linked below as well. I hope you all have a great weekend and I will see you next time. Bye.